Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, I am the diva behind Diva and the Divine, and I'm so glad that you chose to click on my video today. Today I am sharing with you my monthly favorites from the last two months because I didn't have anything to share in the month of June because life has been crazy. That information is for another video. For those of you that are not new here, you know exactly what's happening in my life. If you are new here and you want to know a little bit more, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there and join the Diva and the Divine community. I would love to have you. Today we are looking at my favorites for the month of June and July. I only have a handful of items, but because I have been relocating and have such a small amount of my stuff with me, the stuff that I have favorited is definitely things that are truly and honestly my favorite things because they came with me or I discovered them while I was here and have been loving them. So without further ado, let's jump right in to my June and July favorites. First up, we have food favorites and I'm going to start with this. I have been obsessed with this. This is the Simply Balanced Dark Chocolate Almond butter. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I'm back on the almond butter train. I never actually officially left the almond butter train, but I am back on when we went to Target not that long ago, I found that the Simply Balanced brand had packets of almond butter, much like the RX bar ones, but for a lot less money. So I picked up a couple of them just to try because there are some almond butters I really like and some almond butters that I don't. Turns out this chocolate almond butter is on point delicious. So I've started buying the entire jar of it. It's $6.99 at Target. It is so stinking good. Delicious, delicious. It is five points plus for an entire serving, which is not any higher than any other almond butter. This is probably, I, I didn't look, so I don't know for sure, but it's probably six points in smart points, but I don't actually know. The nutrition information is 190 calories, 15 grams of fat, 10 carb, three fiber, five sugars, six protein. Guys, it's so good. I have been mixing this in with my yogurt and it is a game changer. It has been my breakfast every single day for the last like week and a half and I'm not getting tired of it. It is so good. The dark chocolate flavor makes it feel a little bit more decadent, a little bit more desserty, and it just, oh, it's so good. And it's a Simply Balanced brand at Target. Who knew? This is my other food find. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a label because Trader Joe's doesn't label their stuff in a way that lets you keep the label. So this is the Meyer Lemon Biscotti. Holy cannoli, it is so stinking delicious. For two of them, it is three points plus and five smart points, and oh, they're so good. This is probably our fourth container this summer because my husband loves them just as much as I do, so we have been going through this as a special treat on repeat. It is so good. Head over to Trader Joe's and see if it's still around because I'm certain it's a seasonal item. Lemon is very, very popular for summer, so I guarantee you it's probably gonna be gone soon, so get your hands on it while you still can. It is so crunchy so the flavor is not overwhelming but it is just this fresh delicious lemon flavored awesomeness it's so good so crunchy the little cookies are just oh i love all of their biscotti i have not had a trader joe's mini biscotti that i have not liked this one is one of my top though so good probably seconded only to the pumpkin biscotti which is truly my favorite Go check this out. Moving on to beauty favorites. I have been using new face creams for the last month and a half, two months, and it is due to a recommendation by a friend that I know personally. So instead of like someone online, like an actual friend that I sang with on worship team, the Olay Regenerous Line Moisturizer. So I've been using two. I've been using the Micro Sculpting Cream and the Night Recovery Cream. And I use this one in the morning and this one at night. And my skin has been looking real good. I haven't changed anything else really. So I don't know how much of it is contributed to this, but my skin's been looking so good. If I had to pick one to repeat purchase, it would be this one. Cause this one is like the power packed, full of the anti-aging ingredient stuff version. And I think this is a different, a different formulation. It's obviously it's thicker for nighttime, but this is still a nice cream too. And what I really love about the fact that I'm loving these is they're from the drugstore. I mean, okay, technically I ordered these from Ulta, but it's in the drugstore side. It's Oil of Olay. I don't know, I guess it's just Olay. It used to be called when I was a kid, Oil of Olay. 
Now it's just Olay, and I've been really loving these. I'm going to use these all up. I've been using them for a couple of months. I've got about a third of the container left in this one, and I have about half the container left in this one. Why they're not being used equally, I'm not entirely sure, but once this container is out, I will let you know if I repurchase them, but for now, I've been waking up feeling fantastic about my skin, and this is the only thing I've changed lately, so this has to have something to do with it, right? I purchased these at Ulta, but you can get these like Walgreens. However, at Ulta, when I purchased these, they were buy one, get one 50% off. So yes, they're a little bit pricey for a drugstore brand, but you can get them on drugstore deals at Ulta. I will have these linked down below. My other beauty favorite is a repeat favorite, probably from like, I don't know, years ago. And it's these lip glosses by NYX. These are the NYX butter glosses. And for whatever reason, I think when I ordered those face creams, these were also on sale. And I went, you know what? I recall liking these. So let's order a couple of them and see if I still like them. Turns out that I do a lot, actually. I'm wearing this one today. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. And this is the shade Tiramisu. These are like the most popular shades of this product. And there's a great reason. It is an amazing natural looking shade while still giving you a really nice look of color and hydration. Oh my gosh, what I was gonna say was, I've had this on my lips for like an hour and my lips are still hydrated and wonderful. And this has been on my lips for an hour. It feels so good. So I've been using these because summer is the perfect time for like that sheer wash of color, not anything too like crazy heavy on your lips. And these satisfy that so, so well. This one I use for like when I want a little bit more intense, but like it's not really intense at all. And then this one is great for a light pink every day. These are wonderful products. They are so inexpensive and you can get them at Ulta. Again, you can, I think you can get these at like Walgreens and whatnot too. I buy them at Ulta. I'm a big fan of Ulta and their loyalty program, blah, 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 blah. That's where I bought them. They were on sale. These are wonderful. Truly what I'm trying to do is as I'm changing things up in my life, I'm trying to go back to if there's a drugstore version of something that I like that saves me a butt ton of money, why do I not use that? Right? Like that's kind of where I'm at. And so these are only a couple dollars and they work just as well as some of the high end lip glosses I have. Why am I buying the high end lip glosses when I can just buy these and save the other money for something else? That's kind of where I'm at in my life right now. The next item is something that I've probably mentioned many times before. I know I have dedicated videos on this thing, but I have to mention it anyway. This is my 2019-2020 Erin Condren Life Planner. I have moved back to the vertical layout after taking a year or two hiatus on that layout, deciding that in conjunction with the planning I use digitally, this is the right choice for me. And while I haven't been able to dive in fully because 85%, no, no, closer to 95% of all of like the planner goodies and stickers and accessories I have are still sitting in Illinois. So once I get that back, I'll be able to dive in even more. But I have been loving moving into this planner, figuring out what I'm going to do with the vertical layout, how I'm going to use it to help complement the hourly digital planning that I do on Google calendars. If you are interested in a video about how I combine my paper planning and my digital planning, let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. So I know that that's something you're interested in, but I have been loving using this. July is move in month, so I've been using it for a month now. I have some really cool things happening with the uh, notes pages. I've been so pleased to be back in my good old Erin Condren Life Planner. And it's obviously not too late to get one if you are a big planner nerd like I am. They have 12 month planners, they have binder systems, they have a whole bunch of different layouts. If color is not your thing, they have neutral stuff. I will actually link the video that I did all about this year's life planner up there and down below for you. In that video, I give you a walkthrough of this planner specifically, but there are so many other options available on their website. If you are a fan of paper planning, this, this brand, I've been using this brand since 2014 and I love it. And the last thing I believe is also something I've repeated before, but this is especially important this month. And this is the Cultivate What Matters Write the Word journal. I specifically have this one because while I do own their entire old collection, they actually completely revamped their Write the Word journals lately and have 
I think three new ones or four new ones. They've completely changed them. And I really wish that I could get my hands on the new ones, but I have so many that I'm going to use up the ones I have before I purchase the new ones. And that's going to take me a good long time. But I'm favoriting this one specifically. This one is Cultivate Joy and it says Love One Another. What the Write the Word journals are, are journals that give you specific verses to focus on every single day. And then it's just one page front and back and it gives you the opportunity to go into your Bible, dive in a little bit to God's word, only a handful of verses. I think the longest verse that I have had to, or the verses that I've had to get into is like five verses. And you can write them down. You can do whatever you want in this journal that will help you further absorb and focus on the word of God. When I decided that I was going to bring one of these with me for our temporary housing and the chaos of moving, I chose Cultivate Joy because I felt like as somebody who doesn't handle stress, or change or being out of a routine well at all, cultivating joy and being reminded of that on a daily basis would be super important during this transitional time and I was 100% correct. This has been a great way to focus on God's love and the joy that it brings true believers knowing that God made his ultimate sacrifice for us and that God loves us and that he's a good father. I'm reminded of all of that daily when I open my Bible and open this book and use those two things in conjunction with one another. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. The company, Cultivate What Matters, is a wonderful company. They're also the company that does the power sheets that I love so very, very much. And I'm just, I'm so thrilled that I brought this with me. And so I wanted to make sure you guys knew about this too. And those are my monthly favorites. My friends, let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites for this summer have been. Everything that you saw in this video will be linked down below for you so it will be easy for you to find. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for sticking with me through this chaotic time. Happy August and I will see you in my next video. Bye!